Is it actually possible to get a luxurious, sophisticated gift on a budget? You know, if you stay until the end, I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite gift. And it's actually the cheapest gift on this list, but it is so useful and it works on everybody. So make sure you watch until the end. My dear elegant newcomers, my name is Anna. This YouTube channel is a taster of my online finishing school for women who want to advance themselves in life, become more refined and achieve great success with the upper class. If this is something you're interested in, visit schoolofaffluence.com and start your transformation today. Ho, 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 my elegant ladies. Christmas is literally around the corner. Well, okay, less than a month left. And this week is Black Friday week. I think Black Friday is ending either tomorrow or maybe end of the week, depending on the store. But I think now is a really good time to purchase some of those Christmas gifts. Ladies, when I thought about these items that I'm going to present to you, I was thinking about people who have a refined taste. Like when we want to give somebody, maybe somebody who has a lot of money, maybe somebody who has a lot of things already, or maybe, you know, it's somebody who we want to look a little bit good in front of. We want to give that person something a little bit more sophisticated than the kind of usual iTunes gift card from the grocery store downstairs. Do you know what I mean? What we give somebody does say something about ourselves. Sometimes people go all in on the spending mode. Like they want to spend a lot of money on a gift because they feel like they will end up looking better in a person's eye the more they spend. I don't think it's necessarily has to be that way because there are actually many good, sophisticated gifts that you can give somebody that does not break the bank. And those are exactly the ones we're going to cover. Also, bear one thing in mind that I'm keeping a bit of a budget around, you know, $200, $100. So it's somewhere around that mark let me go straight into the gift that we perhaps would give a boyfriend. Now, when it comes to gifting a man, I have actually created a separate video last year on this topic called what to gift your millionaire boyfriend. Now, I don't want you to jump on that video just yet. Make sure you watch this one first because it's a little bit more relevant, but watch that one afterwards because it's really going to go in depth on items you can gift a man. But I think men are actually not that complicated to buy to as we sometimes paint in our heads. Now, I also know that affluent men, a lot of them have a lot of things. <laughs> they might not need anything. And that can sometimes create a bit of a situation where you don't know what to buy that person. As you know, I believe in classic items. And even when it comes to gifting, I don't think you should think twice about buying a pair of nice cufflinks. Let's say you can get a nice pair from Mont Blanc, usually around $200 mark, or a nice tie. I think uh, Burberry does nice affordable ties. You can get Hermes tie if you really want to spend, but that would be uh, more than $200. Or why not a nice little wallet, a nice maybe card holder? I think Saint Laurent does great ones. I have one actually. Um, but men, you know, you can buy some really nice things for men, maybe some nice leather goods. You know, men are not complicated to buy to. You just keep it simple, keep something that they will use. What men like as gifts is things that they will use because they're practical people after all. <laughs> Now, another thing that men enjoy are tech stuff. So let's say AirPods. I think these little guys are really good to gift actually anybody. The reason why I say so is because I'm on my third pair that even if that person has already AirPods or they had AirPods, most likely these are going to stop working one day or maybe they will lose these. So you will want to gift them something that they will use. Having a spare one, you know, it's always handy to have. Now, maybe AirPods feels a, feels a bit too plain, but there are so many gadgets you can give a man. Just go into the electronic shop and browse around. You will find something. A lot of affluent men are into wine, but make sure you know this before you go purchase something. So for those who are wine connoisseurs, I know for a fact that getting a beautiful wine decanter 
is a highly appreciated gift and they exist in all kinds of price ranges so it's really up to you how much you want to spend i would say maybe you should go for a brand that perhaps has a bit of a reputation within wine and tableware and so on another gift that i actually think is not only useful for men but could be used by anybody who drinks wine and that is this really clever invention so let's say you have a bottle of wine and you only want to drink a glass. If you open the cork, the wine is going to go bad on you, especially if you have a really nice bottle of wine. You don't want to waste wine after all. Now, I don't know exactly how it works, so I'm going to improvise a little bit, but imagine like a little needle that you stick through the cork. You don't actually remove the cork. This needle, it starts kind of sucking the wine up, and uh, you can uh, choose how much wine you take or don't take and what's really good is that this little thing it doesn't let any air in into the bottle so the wine actually can last for quite some time it is a really good and useful tool a majority of households don't have one now what about your girlfriend Obviously, being a woman, it's much easier to buy something for another woman. Um, we can just go into the cosmetic departments or beauty department and buy literally anything. Things that I would perhaps not buy is perfumes or maybe a lingerie or specific clothing because it's oftentimes so easy to get it wrong with women and you don't want to give somebody something that they're just going to store away in that cupboard for regifting. so <laughs> keep it safe and keep it simple i would say you can definitely go and purchase classic gifts like scarves there are many beautiful scarves in all kinds of different price ranges and you don't necessarily have to go louis vuitton or gucci here you can also actually buy a really nice non-branded scarf maybe it's made out of really nice cashmere material just something that is a bit more delicate and sophisticated but it doesn't cost a fortune because it doesn't have a specific brand to it. Don't forget that when we buy reputable brands, we actually pay a lot for their marketing. So when you buy things that are a little bit more like artesian goods, you're not paying for any marketing and you're actually winning because you're getting as high quality for less the price. So this can be a good gift to give a sporty woman. Don't give this to somebody who doesn't exercise or maybe is a bit chubby because that might send the wrong signal. But I think gifting somebody like a Fitbit or like one of these fitness rings, same as kind of Fitbit, there are many types of different variations. So I think this is a really good gift. I use them all the time. So if somebody would gift this to me, it would be a very useful gift. And a lot of women are staying fit these days. So this is a really good gift around 100, 130, 150 maybe dollar mark so other classical gifts again a card holder i know gucci does really cute ones if you have a funky friend who likes a little bit of color and so on then definitely the gucci card holder also i think gloves is a really good gift and sometimes you don't have to buy the boring black gloves you can buy a nice pair of red leather gloves to your fashionista girlfriend once i actually received a beautiful pair of red gloves and i wore them so much and i told myself why have i never thought about buying something like this when we receive these different types of gifts then we really enjoy it so when you're going shopping for christmas this season make sure to think about what if i give that person something doesn't have to be crazy expensive but something that you know they would like to have or they would use but that they won't necessarily go and purchase themselves and it can be sometimes because of a simple color a simple design or just something i don't know they didn't think of if you don't know this woman very well, let's say it's your acquaintances, then you perhaps don't want to go very personal buying, you know, scars and gloves and so on. But so you can definitely buy a really nice $50, $70, $100 scented candle. Now, Dipatique has great ones, but there are so many brands, Jo Malone, for instance, as well, where you can buy really nice, luxurious candles. Again, some of us, we purchase these things regularly, but there's a lot of people out out there that they would love to have an expensive uh, scented candle but they would just not go and buy it themselves so purchasing items like this during christmas season it is a clever move so i think a scented candle although it sounds very basic it is actually quite a good gift
But before we continue, I want to share with you something that I learned from the Swiss finishing school that I attended last summer. We had a billionaire butler who came and had some classes and I also had some one-on-one -on -one sessions with him. Very highly experienced gentleman who worked with like billionaire households. There was one tip in particular that he shared with us. He said that, and of course this makes a lot of sense in billionaire households because obviously their funds tend to be more unlimited than in regular households. But I think we all can, you know, find inspiration from these things and use it in one way or another. So he was telling me that one thing to think about whenever you find a good gift, if it's for instance a really nice sweater that you know people just love wearing, Maybe it's nice because it's soft, cashmere material, beautiful, works in all body shapes, whatever. Or maybe it's, let's say, a book or something that you know really works with most people. He said, buy it in bulk and stock up in your storage because you will be needing this over the years and you can just gift it and gift it and gift it for whenever occasion arises. Now he said that they would definitely always like have um, a stock, let's say 20 cashmere sweaters in the storage that they would use for gifts. Whenever, for instance, they randomly had to go to, over to somebody's house, maybe somebody had invited them and you all always bring a gift when you go to somebody's house. So instead of like panic, oh my God, what am I going to buy? Let me run to the grocery store and buy that stupid iTunes gift card or Netflix gift card that makes you look totally unsophisticated. Instead, you have your own little stash that you can just take from and take from and take from when needed. And it also reduces the stress around Christmas because sometimes we have ideas and sometimes we don't. So what are we gonna do? Kill ourselves in between? No, Christmas should be fun, right? It should be fun shopping for people and you shouldn't be feeling like, oh my God, I'm doing this even though I hate doing this and I wish I didn't have to. So that was a very good tip from him. And uh, I think, you know, even if you don't afford buying 20 cashmere sweaters, you could see how you could translate it so that it fits in your daily life. Okay, ladies, I want to move on and talk about the elderly. And when I say elderly, I'm not talking only about grandparents, but I'm also talking about parents, anybody who is a little bit more senior, maybe it's your parents-in-law, maybe it is a teacher, a mentor, or a good family friend. Regardless of who it is, the point is that elderly, they tend to have a little bit of a different mindset of what they appreciate and what they would like from somebody. I don't necessarily think a pair of Apple AirPods or a Gucci card holder would work with them as well as it would perhaps in my previous examples. So since I'm talking about quality and I already mentioned the Kashmir sweater, I actually think Anything like that is a really good gift for somebody maybe over the age of 50. You can, of course, get it to people under the age of 52, but, you know, I'm just generalizing here a little bit now. I think having a really nice high quality sweater keeps them warm, keeps them happy, he keeps them cozy. Another really good gift that I personally love. So if anybody ever wants to give me a gift, Kashmir socks, here I am, bring it on. <laughs> Trust me, if you live in a winter climate, you do enjoy a nice pair of soft, cozy cashmere socks that warm your feet and also feels luxurious when you wear them. And they are not necessarily very expensive, so maybe around $100 mark. So those are really good gifts. Uh, same goes for gloves as well. Get a nice pair of quality leather gloves with cashmere lining. Oh, they will love it and they will think about you every time they wear it. And that's what the elderly love. The elderly also enjoy having things that they can eat or drink. Oftentimes they enjoy cooking. So one of the things that I think is a really good idea to bring somebody perhaps that you don't know very well, but to whom you still want to leave a really good impression to. Maybe it is your boyfriend's parents, they're inviting you for dinner and you want to bring something as a, as a lack of gratitude and you know that they're not drinking so you can't bring them an expensive wine bottle which is usually a foolproof way when you're invited to somebody's house. Instead, get them a really nice 
olive oil. Olive oil is really underestimated, especially if you get a really nice one, organic, maybe it's cold pressed, maybe it's straight from this really rustic little farm somewhere in France. This olive oil that I'm showing to you right now, I actually discovered myself when I went a few times to the restaurant in Paris called uh, Joël Robuchon. We were having this fantastic olive oil every time we were there. And in the end, I said to myself, I need to have this one. So I took a picture, I managed to Google it and I found, and also they have an online shop. So to my excitement, I ordered loads of bottles and I started gifting them away. And they were really appreciated gifts because this olive oil is by far one of the best olive oils I've had. If you wanna stay in the Italian region, then gifting somebody that has to do something with truffle from Alba is to recommend and it's also very sophisticated you can for instance order from specific truffle shops that source their truffle directly from this region let's say you buy some really nice white truffles and you add a nice truffle shaver next to it like a little gift and you gift it to somebody who first of all likes truffle <laughs> you gotta know that they like truffle but even if you don't know Usually people do, and it's always a very highly appreciated gift. And it's also very neutral. You can give it to any gender. So this will definitely be a good choice. And now you've been wanting to know, what is the absolute cheapest but best gift that I think, use the tip of the billionaire butler, stock up on these, because believe me, ladies, this is a really good gift. And why I actually wanted to really highlight this gift is because it's so affordable. I am going to talk now about what to give acquaintances because the problem with them sometimes is that you don't want to give a gift that is too personal. You don't want to have that little awkward, too intimate moment where you give, you're giving them something that you know, like you don't really know them that well, so you shouldn't be giving them that, you know? A friend of mine was actually going to a birthday party. She called me and she asked me, listen, I have no idea what to buy. Do you have any ideas? I don't know this guy at all. He's acquaintances. I just know him through friends and he invited me to his birthday party. We're not romantically involved anything. What am I going to bring him? I can understand the panic in that situation because at one point I also blanked until I realized this amazing thing that I had bought recently and I'm going to show you. Ultimate Toys for Men. <laughs> okay, this is a really good book to give a man that you don't know well, but that you know he will highly appreciate. Coffee table books are great to get acquaintances, especially if you're invited to their house. This just makes so much sense to bring, unless you want to bring that famous wine bottle <laughs> that is a classic staple piece but if you want to spice things up a little bit get a coffee table book and actually usually they are around $50 mark you can also get for let's say $100 depends which one but for a man I would definitely gift this one this one is really good because you have all kinds of different gadgets you have cars watches yachts things that kind of educates the affluent man about things that he should know or maybe dream about. There's a lot of beautiful imagery inside. But if you are going to give a coffee table book, let's say to a woman, then I would definitely recommend the Hermes one. It is just beautiful and how it would lay on her coffee table with all those colors. I mean, Hermes has such a chic and sophisticated brand. So that's why it would be a very sophisticated gift to give. If it's a married couple or it's a couple that you are gifting a coffee table book, then maybe you can buy on a topic that you know that they appreciate. Maybe it's about wine. Maybe it's about travel. Maybe it's something about anything. There are coffee table books about anything. Some topics are so general. You can just brainstorm in, in the bookstore and see what comes up. For the artsy lovers, you can get them some nice, affordable, small pieces of art. It can also be photography art. It can be something you bought in a nice um, boutique in the museum. They usually have some really cute pieces that are not expensive at all, but that 
perhaps the more art loving person would appreciate. Now there is a gift that I thought was really cute and if you look at it you will understand why. This is a four in a row game and I think board games today are highly neglected and I think we really should reintroduce them and they work as a perfect gift. You can offer a beautiful Monopoly set that is a little bit more high-end, not necessarily the one, you know, the one you buy in the kids store, but maybe one that is a little bit more, more luxurious to it. Same goes with the board of chess, or I also know that Hermes does uh, nice play cards, also not too expensive, but buying these small board games, it almost makes the statement of we are not spending enough time in our society today with each other. We're too much on our phones. Let's connect over a board game. And I think a lot of people feel this way. So for this reason, this type of gift would be highly appreciated of anyone who has a bit of class. <laughs> you know what, ladies? Not all gifts have to be wow. Not all gifts have to be, oh, I, you know, there so much thought went to it, so much time, so much effort, and... I think people who are a bit perfectionistic, I am one of those, we sometimes overthink the gifts. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to give somebody something classic, something fun, something simple, something that you just show them that I thought of you, I wanted to give you something that I think you will like. It might not necessarily be the best ever gift you received, but you know what? Christmas is about showing each other some love, some appreciation, and some thought because after all we don't always do it so now is the time to do so i think if you want to appear sophisticated and you want to give somebody something elegant it's not necessarily about giving that mastermind perfected gift but something that just shows that you took that person into consideration and this is just something small something to show a little bit of appreciation and that is very elegant and very sophisticated as i was telling you in the beginning of this video men can be really tricky when it comes to gifts that's why i created this video that really goes into depth what things you can gift your affluent boyfriend especially if he has everything i will see you in that video merry christmas to everybody